Hi, I'm Paul. I'm the project manager for the Hymnals iPad app produced by GIA Publications. Uh, this is my iPad and I've already downloaded the Hymnals iPad app from the iTunes App Store. You can search for the app just by searching uh, the keyword Hymnals in the iTunes App Store. It'll launch the iPad app. This is the opening page. Uh, there's some hints up here regards to uh, the navigation aisle elements at the top. We've also loaded some sample hymns that you can view. Uh, you can see when you look at the sample hymns that they are vector-based PDFs, which means that they're uh, very sharp. So you can uh, zoom in as far as you can and uh, see how sharp the uh, text and the, the music is. <clears throat> um, there's also a place here where you can view uh, the downloaded hymns that are available. Currently available are Gather 3rd Edition, both uh, Pew and Choir. The Pew Edition is uh, $14.99 and the Choir Edition is $25.99. Coming soon is the Worship 4th Edition both for both Pew, Pew and Choir. Down at the bottom here is a link to uh, visit our support site where you can ask the developers questions or read the answers to questions other users have had. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is um, open a, a hymnal. Uh, currently this check mark shows that I'm viewing the sample hymns but I'm gonna view Gather 3rd Edition. Here's a, a hymn, the first hymn that appears for Gather 3rd Edition. Third edition. Uh, if you click on the right hand side of the page it'll move a page forward and then if you click on the left hand side it'll it'll move a page back. You can also uh, swipe both left and right to uh, go forward and back a page. When you get to a page where you can't see the entire hymn in the view, you can double click the center and it'll go into full screen mode, which will hide the top navigation and then move the hymn up a little bit so that the entire hymn appears in the screen. If you double click twice again, you'll exit full screen mode and then the navigation will then appear. <clears throat> uh, most of the hymns have a sample clip and uh, this icon up here that looks like a speaker uh, displays the, the sample clip. Uh, if it's grayed out if a sample clip is not available or if you don't have an internet connection. Uh, the sample clips aren't stored on the app, they're streamed straight from the server. So I'm going to play the sample clip for, uh, for this hymn. So that's how the sample clip works. Um, I'm going to search for him. Up here in the type, top you can filter search. I'm going to look for gather a sin. So I'm going to type in gather, G-A-A-T-H, and here it is right here uh, from the gather third edition number 848. We'll click on that <clears throat> and then we'll go into full screen mode so we can see the entire hymn in the window. Now this hymn has more than one page. So there's an arrow in the bottom right hand corner if I click that, it'll automatically move you to the next page. And if you click the arrow up, it'll take you back to the beginning. You can also scroll the hymn as well through the pages of the hymn. Uh, I'm also going to uh, show you how to enter a hymn number. So let's say you know that you want to see hymn number 517. You can type it into the uh, number pad here and hit go. Now in this case, there are two 517s because uh, both Gather 3 and Gather 3 Choir both have that. So it brings up an option here. I can choose Gather 3 Pew Edition and uh, it takes me to Gather 3rd Edition number 517 which is Walk his, uh, We Walk His Way. And then uh, this hymn has several pages. So I just uh, navigated to the third page and then there's uh, once you're past the second page you'll see another arrow at the very top it says first page. If you click that, it'll take you very to the very first page, um, the very beginning. Um, so I'm going to create a service list. Click over here in the service list icon at the very top, and then I'm going to hit the plus button and name the service list. Let's name it this Sunday's Mass.
So now that we have a service list added, we can add items to the service list. <clears throat> We're going to uh, search for massive creation. So I'm going to go up to the filter here and type in creation. And then uh, we'll, we'll go and add the Kyrie, which is right here. And then I'm going to hit this little plus icon right next to the search field. And then I'll choose the service list that I want to add this hymn to. The only one here right now is uh, this Sunday's Mass, so I'm going to click that. A little nav uh, indicator will pop up that says that it's been added to the service list. Then um, I'm going to look for Gloria as well. Oh, it's the next one over, so um, I'm going to add this to the service list as well. Great, and then uh, I'm going to add uh, another one. Let's see, let's do uh, Holy, Holy, Holy. Let's find some more. Lamb of God. So now we're in different, uh, a different mass. So what I'll do now is uh, go back to the service list and click on it. And then I can see the items that I added to the service list. <clears throat> Here I can hit the edit button and rearrange these in any order I want. So now you can see I've got them out of order now, but holy, 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 uh, Glory, uh, Kyrie, and Lamb of God um, is the order that I have them in. I know it's not correct, but that's uh, just an example. And then I can go back to service list and then click on the first one. Now I can per, uh, play through the service list. So at the very top in blue you'll see this Sunday's Mass, which is the name of the service list. And then I can click through in this order that I added them. So if you ever need to see what the navigation items are at the top, or if you forget, you can always drag the hymn down and there are hints under, hiding underneath the hymn display um, on what the, each of the navigational elements do. You can also click the little eye information icon and this will also tell you where you can tap on the hymn to navigate. So saying here that you can drag the hymn downward to, to see the tool instructions. You can single tap on the left or the right to move backward or forward to the hymn, with the hymn. Or you can uh, double click the middle to go into full screen mode or to get out of full screen mode. So that's the current features of the GIA uh, Hymnals app. We are going to be constantly adding features as we go and uh, please watch the GIAMusic.com website to uh, see the new hymns or new uh, features that are coming up. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy the app.